going on guys I'm back for another video and today we're doing something pretty cool today we're doing yet another recreation build and we're actually gonna be building Sean's Mustang from uh, Tokyo Drift it was the car that uh, his dad was building on or was working on restoring and then um, he ended up using he ended up finishing restoring in like a night and used for the race in the end of the movie against DK um, it's not the exact year or anything like that I believe this one's like two years newer or something um, and whatnot so and there's like some with some parts we're not gonna be able to get it perfect like uh, the front lip I would like to be able to take off and then obviously I can't remove the rear spoiler um, I will just go ahead and throw that on though because that I mean it looks closer to it and then it can't take off the the wind vents I don't even know what to call those on the uh, on the back window uh, so it's not gonna be it's not gonna be perfect but uh, I'm gonna try my best to make it as close to the the, the car in the movie as possible uh, I do know that it had a V8 engine in it uh, that was turboed, so we'll go ahead and throw that on. But um, uh, upgrade-wise, I know that the car only had 375 horsepower, I believe. Um, so we're already well over that. So I'm not going to do anything to the, uh, to the engine uh, unless it just doesn't get sideways and we absolutely need it to. Uh, but this is going to be a, a drift build. Uh, because obviously the car uh, being in Tokyo Drift was a drift car. Uh, the car itself did have the uh, engine from the uh, the, the 2001 Skyline that had the R20 RB26 engine. Um, so, but I can't really like recreate that. I guess uh, I don't think there's an R26 uh, engine swap. I could be wrong, but I don't think there is. Um, tire size, I actually do have that here, so it's not perfect. But um, the rears were 275s, so we'll go ahead and just throw on the 295s because those are the closest. And then the front had 245s, and so those are just about as close as we're going to get right there. Uh, whoops. Then we got to find the right wheels. So I believe that they're going to be in maybe this section. Um, all the pictures that I have for the for the car for the to like be able to see the wheels and stuff are honestly like really crappy pictures. Uh, they're all like really blurry or like really small so um, if the if I don't get the wheels perfect um, that is most likely why um, those look pretty good I'm just gonna throw those on and then I'm gonna I'm gonna increase the tire size I don't exactly know how big the tires were on the car but 19s look about where they are so we'll go ahead and throw 19s on front and back and now we will we will go up and change the wheels. Uh, those ones look pretty good, but they weren't exactly where I wanted. Or exactly how they looked. Maybe those. Those look pretty good. I don't know. This paint that I have on them. Oh, there's a good picture of the wheels. Um, Let's see. The paint that I have on it, uh, the, the wheels are actually like a bit... They're, they're more chrome on this paint. And uh, the wheels in real life are aren't super chrome they're kind of chrome on the outside and then they have um it's a, kind of like a darker kind of grayish like a charcoal tint on the inside and the the wheels itself are pretty they're kind of strange they definitely i definitely would not pick those on this car because it's something like that how it's like a it's just like the spokes or whatever and then it kind of like gets all fat at the end i don't know how to describe that better than what i just did so i guess it is in the sports because uh, I did, when I was getting the paint, I did see someone had some wheels that were pretty, pretty close. And looked almost like the exact same ones. I'm just going to see if I can hopefully find them. If not, I'll probably just go with the ones I have on. Or maybe some a, diff a little bit different. Because they aren't five spokes. I believe they're six. Um... So looking like they don't have the exact ones, but I do want to find some six spokes because I want the, I want that you know I want the wait where those it nope those do look pretty close to it though uh, so where's a nice six spoke uh, not those not those I saw one or a little bit ago that I really really liked where were they were it those no. I think it was these. Um, they are... F oh, no, those are a six-spoke. 
Are those six? Oh, the ones in the movie have seven. That's nah, fine. These are close enough. I think this is just about as good as we're going to get in the game. Uh, they don't have the exact wheels, and uh, I'm sure I could find some, some better ones if I took a little bit more time looking. But uh, that's just about as good as we're going to get. Uh, I am going to try and do a bit of tuning with the thing, because I feel like it's not going to be that great, uh, just stock or whatever. So I will try and tune it to get a pretty decent drift build going on the car. Um, and then ride height wise, I'm just going to put the, actually we'll put the rally suspension in just so we get a little bit more extra st steering angle since this is going to be a drift car. Uh, the car itself isn't actually that lowered. Um, it's probably, it's probably about like, about like right here. So it's not super, super low, but uh, it is, it is, it does have a decent bit of weight in it or decent uh, suspension job in it. But anyway, uh, I don't really want to throw the roll cage in. I don't, I can't see if he had one. Uh, obviously we're gonna throw the weight reduction on. And then besides all that, I don't really think there's much else we're gonna do. Uh, I'll just throw, I'll go ahead and throw the exhaust on just so, uh, just so the car sounds a little bit better because uh, the exhaust upgrade actually does change the sound of your car. And then we'll just leave it with, uh, with the horsepower that it has uh, might come back and change onto the stock tire compound if I can't get the wheel spin in super like a lot uh, Because the track that I do I do really I really want to take this on like the, the um, That I've been drifting in my last couple drift videos, but I don't I don't know if I uh, I don't know if I should take it there because I feel like this thing's a little a little underpowered and I feel like it won't be able to quite um to quite get get sideways through those uh, those really long corners but anyway let's go ahead and throw a quick little tune on this uh just throw a little bit into that uh the gears we'll just have to wait and see uh camber we'll just go ahead and throw a negative one and negative 1.5 just a pretty basic uh basic stuff on it we'll want to stiffen the suspension up a bit uh not not an insane amount but actually that is, that is quite an insane amount uh obviously want to lower it I'm not gonna lower. I'm not gonna completely slam it because the car does have a bit of height in it. But I will lower it down like that. And then obviously these are gonna need quite a bit of stiffening because it does have the rally suspension, so it softs, softens them up almost all the way. Um, and just do these. I wish this went up faster. I wish the D-pad made it go slow and then the joystick made it go fast because that'd be so much, be so much easier. So, uh, and then obviously gonna lock out that diff and then turn this down. Uh, go about 28 is what I normally do just a random number, but I like it and then we'll just see how this thing does uh, I mean it's Not really spinning a whole lot It's not spinning a whole lot, but it actually It actually is pretty good Obviously, I would want the car to have a, a bit more power but I mean, the thing's still like drivable if you just want to drive it and have some fun. But uh, like I said, though, I really wanted to take it to the the mountain toge kind of road, uh, this road here. Um, uh, but I mean, the only part that I would think that this car or this road here, uh, the only part that I think it could really drift at was this little section here through the speed zone. Um, just because those are the tightest corners, there's no way it could handle these super long corners there. Uh, so I am just going to go ahead and take it to the the classic. Uh, the classic little mountain run kind of road right here. Uh, it's a really awkward road to kind of record with, uh, unless I do like some cutting and whatnot, um, because it, the road sucks going up and going down. It's honestly it's a super short road, but we'll just go ahead and give it a try. If it's not working out, I, I have another I have another little backup spot we can take it to. But I'm I'm thinking it'll do all right. And every single time, I'm always on facing that way. Just move my mic a little bit. There we go. Let's see how this thing does. Obviously, gonna want to change the gears. Want to make them a little bit longer. Although these gears are actually pretty good. Put down the second gear for the last one. Not a bad run. Uh, I wasn't really looking at points or anything, but we were staying pretty sideways for that whole little run right there. I mean, I don't even know if I wanna, I guess I will. Uh, I'll go ahead and 
lengthen up the gears a little bit just to see how it does. Uh, we'll just take it down to like right there seems good. 323. Uh, one thing I am going to be doing though also is uh, I will be uploading all of the, from now on, um, I'll be uploading all the tunes that I do uh, for the recreation builds. So then all you have to do is just find the paint job and uh, ooh, surprise. Oh, I didn't let me do it. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it while I talk. Uh, I'll be uploading the tunes for the cars so you can download them and you'll have like the right rims and the right um, visual customizations and stuff. And all you'll need to do is uh, just get uh, the right paint for the car. But uh, you can obviously see the one that I... Actually, no, I don't. Hmm. It's not that hard to find a paint. You guys can you guys can do that on your own. But yeah, I'll be uploading the tunes so, you can, uh, so it's a little easier for you guys to use the car if you like it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely liking these gears on the bottom though. Definitely is wanting to grip up. I would like a little bit more power in the thing, but um, but I do really like where it is right now. I mean, this is a really good car. Uh, this is one of those cars that I just like hop in just to have some fun with because it's not super super fast, but it's just it's a fun it's a fun build because um, obviously like if I want it to go sideways, it can go sideways, and if I want it to stay straight. Um, I can uh, I can make it do that because it's, it does have a decent amount of grip and it probably would want fourth gear there. Get out of the way, your biker! Absolutely killing that thing. I don't remember how many points we got on that first run, but I definitely think that that was like, a lot more. I want to say I got like 70, maybe low 80s on the first run. I do actually kind of want to um, want to race this Viper and see see how I can how I can fare against it. I know he does have the V10, but you never know. It's a hard race and see how he does. Oh, it's S2. Oh god. Oh, and a hairpin right off the start. Could just cut straight across the finish, but I ain't no scum. That thing might just be S2 because of, um... Definitely if there's a player driving that car, I would not be winning this race right now. I need this Ferrari to get out of the way. On the straight, is he gonna catch me? Oh god. So much traffic right now, what the hell? Wow, so I, I actually wasn't really expecting to win that race because I believe this car is only like A class. What is it? Yeah, just right at the top of A class. But I mean, it did pretty good. Here's a little, here's a nice little section up here to the left. So a little, so I think it's the part from my, uh, my rally, my rally track. Yeah, it is. The bridge we end all the videos on right here. Just park up right there and see. You see how it does drift in this. Obviously, third gear, my preferred gear. Maybe not for this tight of a corner, but we'll see. Not too bad. And yeah, both of those cars just changed paint right from my eyes. The car has pretty good steering angle, too, which is, which is something that's really, really good. Because I'm not even, just like that, like, that's really, really good, and I wasn't even maxed out, uh, max angle there. This is a pretty good build, though. Probably, I'd say probably one of the most successful recreation builds that we've done. It's been a drift build, because this thing actually drifts, and it actually drifts really, really well. Uh, bogging down a little bit there in fifth gear just because of the lack of power. But, I mean, it's not bad. Oh, don't hit me. Ooh. Gotta keep that skill chain, because, uh, you know... Everybody's everybody's lacking on a, on skill points. Am I right? You just you just need so many of them. Wow, one more skill point. I get. Oh, it probably maxes out. At That's upsetting. I was hoping I I, was, I really wanted to get to a thousand to see what it'd be like. Anyway, though, pretty successful build, I would say. Um, so if you did enjoy the video, uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do what you like doing. Uh, the tune will be uploaded 
to uh, to uh, to the storefront. So if you want to get that, just go ahead and search my gamer tag. Uh, if you don't know it, it's the Ninja Prodigy. Um, Prodigy spelled with a T because I'm a boss. And um, uh, it's also, I believe, it's my channel name because I did change that a little bit ago. But uh, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel like doing. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. And as always, guys, I'm out.